thank you once again for dropping on into my blender tutorial series that I've been playing around with um, today we're gonna be focusing on this cool like effect that I've seen in so many concerts lately and I, I did it when I was in a workshop leading it for blender and I discovered it and I was like you know what we need to share this with YouTube so I'm gonna share this with you thank you for dropping on in Take a deep breath and uh, let's get started. Okay, <clears throat> so per usual, make sure you get a little warm beverage, get some tea or something to make this a little more peaceful as we go through it. So first things first, like always, we're gonna delete all the default objects. Secondly, we're gonna go ahead and make sure we're in Eevee, turn on ambient occlusion, bloom, screen space reflections, then head on over to the edit tab, like preferences, go down to animation, make sure your default interpolation is set to linear. Okay, so that's the first default settings here. Secondly, we're going to jump right into modeling. Press shift A to bring up essentially your, I like to call it the action bar. You get a lot of different things to add. We're just going to bring it in a cylinder. Not going to make any changes to it really. I'm going to go ahead and press R, X, 90, which set it to 90 degrees. If you don't want to do that, feel free to press N and you'll see you've got this handy dandy rotation setting. You're going to make your X 90 degrees. Cool. Once you do that, press N if you haven't already. Make your Z in terms of dimensions 8. Okay. Then what we're going to do is we're going to press G, Y. Hold control and just drag it to the start of everything. So you're going to see that red and green objects line up now. Now we're going to enter edit mode by pressing tab. Click this third selection to make face select. You're going to select both faces by holding down shift and left clicking. Press X, delete the faces. Now we see we have a cylinder we can see right through. Now what you're going to want to do is hold down tilde, go front, press shift A, and we're going to bring in a camera. Now if you see, everything should be correct if you see your camera at the start of your cylinder, we're ready to go. Now it's time to start, we're going to do the camera animation. So set your, your playhead down to zero, and what you're going to want to do is keyframe your Y value by right clicking and enter a single keyframe. Bring your playhead all the way to the end, 250, and make it eight meters. And insert another keyframe by right clicking and selecting that. And then to test to see if you got it right, feel free to press Z, hold in wireframe mode, and click this play animation. And what you'll see is your camera is gonna be traveling right on through to that cylinder. Cool. So once we have that, it's about time to work on getting the materials for our first cylinder. Then after that, I'll show you how to pretty much loop it so things will be looking nice. So what we're going to do, press right click. We're just going to go ahead and um, actually, let's not do that. Go over to the shading tab. And what you're going to do, hold down tilde, view in camera, select your cylinder. Um, Click new, make the new material. I'm gonna call it loop tunnel. Uh, feel free to set, uh, set the material preview for right now. Turn up your metallic, turn down your roughness, about all the way for right now. And we're gonna leave it like that. Okay. So once you have that set, we may or may have gotten this right, but you'll know once we put in the lights, Go ahead and just go left, hold down tilde, and do left. And what we're gonna do now is we're gonna spawn a few lights. We're gonna spawn in about four. I'm gonna do four. So point light, and let's make it wireframe so we can kind of see. You're gonna press G, hold down Y, hold down Control. Let's make it match up. Do shift D, hold down Y, and do Shift R a few times. So it's one, two, three, four. Let's do six. Eight. Um, 
Let's do eight for now. Let's see. Let's see what happens. It shouldn't cause too many issues. Okay, let's go back to rendered mode. Let's view the camera. And if I'm right, now you can kind of see things are coming out to play here. But what I want to do is pretty much set two colors that we're going to mess around with here. So go ahead and make sure your environment is set to just like a dark, or you can turn off all the strength for your background. That's this little red thing over your light bulb. I'm going to pick two colors. I'm going to use the, I'm going to use, hmm, let's use blue. Let's do 50 watts. And let's use, hmm, like maybe this, not pink. So we probably can't see it, yeah, because it's so close to the camera right now. But what you can do now, so pretty much select the hex value. You have your two kind of like starting lights and just go one by one. It's kind of 50, skip one. 50, skip one. Probably pace. 50, skip one, I think that's not, oh, I think we're good. Okay, now let's go back to our first one. It's looking that way. And if we bring in a timeline, so I'm gonna do it right click, do this, do timeline, and click play, we can kind of see, it's looking a little trippy. But personally, I think we're not gonna, this pink and blue, they're fighting each other. So instead of blue, I mean, instead of pink, let's use, let's grab a color, let's grab one of these pinks. Let's use like, hmm. Maybe like a yellow. Set down to 20 watt. Okay, diving back in, we're gonna go ahead, since we have our lights kind of set up here, let's go ahead and go back to layout. And what, what you're gonna do now so let's go left, let's do wireframe so we can kind of see everything going on. You're gonna go ahead and select your cylinder and all your point lights. Then you're gonna press M to create a new collection. I'll call it loop. Then you're gonna press Shift A. And you're gonna bring in a collection instance, which is that loop. And you're just gonna drag it and you wanna make sure it matches. And once it matches, just go ahead and press Shift, oops, press, I forget I said that. Press Shift D, hold on the Y axis, hold Control so it snaps, see when it snaps, and then press Shift R a few times. Now let's test this to see how things are rocking. The best way to see if it loops is go to your last frame, then go to your, go to your first frame, which is zero, then go to your last frame, and it looks like it matches up. So, what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna quickly show you a quick little extra credit. I'm not gonna make it too trippy, but we're just gonna leave it like this, keep the time low. I personally like to mess around with some of the color management and put it up to, you know, a bit of like a higher contrast just to make the colors a little bit more like, um, I'll say interesting to be honest with you. But we got something kind of going here, so. Now to render this, go ahead and make sure that you do FFmpeg video, encoding, MPEG4, and then I'll do professionally lost. This is a pretty light file and your output is just wherever you want it to be. And uh, I'm gonna render this and then we'll come right back. Thank you so much for dropping in and giving yourself the time of day to learn something new. Um, no matter who you are, be a professional or a beginner, I think it's amazing for us to just take some time to continue learning and uh, 
in the areas that we like. Also, thank you for supporting me. You know, I'm learning Blender at the same time and I'm also just learning how to create content. And I really appreciate everyone that comes in, uh, that leaves some sort of engagement. Even if you don't, I definitely appreciate you watching anyway because hey, YouTube is a platform full of millions of people. Um, so thank you uh, and I hope you have a great day and give yourself that nice tap on the back.